Congratulations, your son or daughter has chosen to play hockey. Well, you're now a hockey parent. There's a few things you're gonna need to learn how to do. Number one, you're gonna have to learn how to dress your child. We're gonna start with the entire lower half of the hockey equipment. That way, our upper body is still gonna be free to move properly, and it's a lot more comfortable for the child. You're gonna have a lot less trouble with them being fidgety. Now we wanna make sure that we get those skate liner socks on properly. The best way to do it is to bunch them up a little bit and then roll them onto the leg. And what we want to make sure is that that heel is sitting in the right spot. If there are any wrinkles in that sock, once you put that skate on, it's going to be a little bit uncomfortable and can actually cause blisters if it's just not in the right spot. For the shin pads, they are right and left specific. There's a slight curvature to them. With everything with protective hockey equipment, we want it to fit snugly so that it stays in place. So with a shin pad, the number one thing is we get the knee centered in the kneecap. Once you have the shin pads firmly in place, what we're gonna to wanna to do now is slide the hockey socks over top. You're just gonna basically roll it up over top of the shin pad, and when you do that, that's gonna hold the shin pad in place, and when you get right to the top, make sure it goes all the way up, about halfway up the thigh, and that's gonna to attach to the jock short. It usually has a little piece of Velcro, and that's gonna keep that hockey sock from falling down during play. The next step, we're gonna look at putting on the hockey pants. Once we have the shin pads and the socks on, sliding the hockey pants on isn't too tough. Once they've stepped both legs in, now we can just raise the pads up around their hips. You wanna make sure that the belt sits on the very top of their hip bones. Tie the laces how you normally would in a simple bow, and then snug the belt around the hips. Once we have the pants in place, we're gonna have that child sit down one more time. Now comes probably the most important part of all the hockey equipment. We wanna make sure those skates go on perfectly. So have them sit down, get them comfortable so that you can work with their feet and make sure that they're not gonna be fidgeting around so that you're going to be able to get that skate on straight and snug. Once we have the lower body done with the completion of the skate tying, now we're going to move to the upper body. The first thing you want to put on is that neck guard. Some of the neck guards have a bib, and when you put the shoulder pads on over top, it's going to hold that down. We want to make sure that those straps around the upper bicep aren't too terribly tight, because we want the elbow pad to be able to slide up inside that. They're going to feel a lot more comfortable, less chance of bruising. The elbow pads will be slid onto the arms. What we want to do is make sure that those straps that are on the elbow pad are fit quite snugly so that that elbow pad isn't moving around on impact. That's the area of the body that's most exposed when the child is falling or falling into the boards. The jersey is the next step in the operation. We want to make sure that that jersey will go over everything very smoothly. We don't want to catch any Velcro on anything. Placing the helmet on the child's head is very important to be done properly. This is probably the most important piece of equipment to keep your child safe during hockey. So when we slide the face guard towards the child's chin, you want to make sure that their chin rests nice and comfortably but firmly against that chin cup. That's very important. And then you want to make sure you do up both side straps to hold that face guard in place and the chin strap. All helmets must have a chin strap. It is mandatory. The last step is grabbing your gloves and putting them on securely. You just want to make sure that when you slide the child's hand into the glove that the fingers go all the way to the end and make sure that thumb is in there properly. Head safety is something we take very seriously at Source for Sports. Please come into any Source for Sports, no matter where you got your helmet, and we'll make sure that helmet fits them properly. If there are any issues with that helmet, we will help you out.